Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and I'm the host of Barrett Fragrances Official. Today, 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 we're going to talk about a fragrance that I've had the honor of wearing at least three times by now and it's only a couple weeks old. This one is going to be one that you're going to stick around for. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, thanks so much for clicking on this video. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe here to our YouTube channel as we are trying to grow in the fragrance community as uh, the best, most luxurious, inspired by fragrance house you ever had. So that is our plan, that is our mission statement. And so today is no different. We're gonna talk about a fragrance that Ross Barrett has perfumed and has come out in the last couple of weeks. I got it a little bit early before it came out on the website and I had the chance to wear it immediately. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the fragrance we're talking about today, and that is gonna be called Inebriated. So you might be wondering, well, Inebriated, Inebriated, that's another word for drunk. That's another word for drunk. It is a bikillion, inspired by a bikillion, intoxicated. As an extract to parfum, you're gonna have such great long-lasting power and so much more rich oil concentration that I bet anything, the original is great, but Barrett's is gonna be much more significant. The notes on Intoxicated and the ones we have to offer, we've got top notes of aldehydes, bergamot, cardamom, and coffee. So kind of like this, this array of mishmash top note situation that sounds a little, maybe a little unique, but it, it works. You've got heart notes of geranium, ginger, nutmeg, and tobacco. And now they are very subtle. It's not, it's not coming through as like a very robust fragrance, very manly fragrance like that, if you could, if you would. And then we have the base notes that are uh, cumarin, balsam fir, marshmallow, patchouli, sugar, and vanilla. And that is what I get a lot of when I smell this is I know Ross did a sugar and kind of a vanilla absolute as a base note versus just vanilla of the original. And that comes through. That comes through very heavy in this fragrance right here. It is thick vanilla base with a lot of the other fragrance notes very well balanced amongst it. Nothing is too sharp, nothing is too edgy, and what I get here is a very sexy fragrance. And I know I see that about a lot, but I get like this almost, almost like this iris top note. It's almost coming off kind of irisy, and it's probably the aldehydes, it's probably the cardamom. I don't know, I, I can't explain to you right now. When I smell this, like I could spray it in the air and I just wanna wear it and bathe in it. And yes, I wear a lot of the fragrances we have to offer, but this one came in the mail and it was game over. Fresh, appealing, clean, very clean, very clean. But what I'm getting is that the base notes are just right there and they're holding it together with that vanilla absolute and sexy, it's sexy. And I wore this the first time I got it out to have drinks with friends. My brother came into town and it was a great wearing experience. My wife um, loved it. It was very bright and very aromatic. And being an extra, it doesn't wear like an extra. It was a pretty huge scent bubble. It was very nice, but not intrusive whatsoever. So I got some great compliments from it. In fact, I was able to share with a lot of my family members what this fragrance was. Let's get into performance and longevity. Performance and longevity for Inebriated from Barrett Fragrances is gonna be beast mode, like a lot of our fragrances are. We're talking 10 to 12 hours. If you wear it on your clothes, you're probably gonna have to shower your body off and then wash your clothes. Otherwise, the next day it will be there. It is very loud, but to me, in a good way. It doesn't back all of the spices that you think, you know, all of these notes are gonna be pushing into your nostrils. It's very well, well balanced. And like I said, like in a blanket amongst a walk in the park is vanilla, absolute walking through the park. So it's very fresh, very subtle, very appealing. And to me, who could wear this? Let's get right into who can wear this. Who can wear this fragrance? I believe it's gonna be a unisex fragrance. It's got some feminine leaning facets to it that my wife could wear this and it could be very, very sexy on her. And it's got that masculine, feminine-ish thing that you can wear as a man and, and your body temperature and your body will really kind of resonate with that and kind of change it a little bit, right? 
as everybody knows, not everybody's wearing experience the exact same. So what I got from this is a very unisex, bright fragrance that I know is gonna get you compliments. You can literally put a comment down below the second you get a sample of this or a full bottle and you let me know, okay? So yeah, guys, that's a quick little review of uh, Inebrated by Ross Barrett Fragrances. This is a great by Killian interpretation of Intoxicated and I highly recommend, highly recommend trying it. Priced to $44.99 for a 50 milliliter bottle. That gives you a very heavy duty piece of glass, nicely formed, atomizers, beautiful, blasts out a lot, beautiful. Heavy duty cap, very heavy metal, embossed with the uh, Barrett Fragrances logo right there and beautiful sheen, everything in between. Uh, if you're not ready for a full-size bottle, or you know, I'm not sure if I want a whole 50 milliliters, you can go ahead and grab yourself a 10 milliliter travel size as well. a bottle or any of these right here. In the description, you're gonna see a link. It's gonna take you right to the website. And right there, you can find this bottle amongst a ton of our other new releases. And you can go ahead and give it a shot and tell us what you think. Uh, remember, tag us on Instagram. And uh, you know, look good, smell good, be good. And I'm gonna probably uh, smell you later. Bye-bye.